Okay, with this, I'm going to preserve the white of the boat here and here so that the white of the paper shines through and I'm gonna make everything else duller. Well, here I am um, putting a little border that I like to do around um, every watercolor. Uh, it gives it like a nice finishing look when you peel it off. And this is gonna be the frisket that we're gonna be talking about in this uh, and demonstrating in this video. So welcome to my latest video on the amazing world of watercolor painting. Today we're gonna to be talking about the little known but incredibly useful tool that can take your watercolor art to the next level. It's frisket. Frisket film is semi-transparent film, well in this case it's blue, uh, that is used in watercolor painting to mask areas of paper that you don't want to be painted. It's perfect for creating lines and shapes and it's a game changer for any artist looking to take their watercolor skills to the next level. To use frisket film, uh, simply select the area you want to preserve and apply to your watercolor paper like I'm doing right here. Then you let it dry. Um, and when you paint over it, the frisket film will prevent the paint from seeping through and ruining your clean lines. When you're done painting, which you'll see uh, actually in, in, in quite a while here, uh, you can just uh, reveal the perfectly painted shape or line that the frisket has, has prevented from you know, getting paint on. So frisket film is an essential tool for any watercolor artist and it's easy to use once you get the hang of it. Once we're done with the frisket, it's time to start painting. And I like to start with the lightest values. Uh, that would be yellows. And in this case, it's gonna start with yellow ochre. Well, right now what I'm doing is I'm just wetting down the paper, um, which is to let it absorb some of the water and become a little softer. And then I started applying uh, the lightest color um, after pure white. Now if you notice I'm, I'm painting the reflections with uh, yellow and then subsequently I'm going to apply frisket on top of that because I just want to preserve the little bit of color that I'm applying now. So that's another uh, use of it is uh, preserving the, the color that you have underneath uh, when you put another wash on top. So all I'm doing here is I'm, I'm looking at my reference picture and filling in uh, all the lightest lights. So I like to work that way uh, from the lightest lights and then I slowly add darker uh, values. Um, I'm using uh, a purplish complementary color here that uh, goes well with the yellow that I laid down. Now here's an example of something where I, uh, I'm learning from these videos myself. Um, I'm using a smaller brush that I really shouldn't be using. Um, and I later on rectify that. But I saw a lot of like little patterns in the water and I wanted to start doing it with, uh, with a smaller brush, but it, it honestly um, was was the wrong tool to use so in a way this is instructional for me as well now after many years of trying different brands of uh, frisket I came across one that really really worked and the name is PBO drawing gum it is by far the best it doesn't dry up like all the other ones, uh, it is quite fluid. And I'm using a tool here from, gosh, from my childhood. Um, uh, I grew up in Spain and, and this is a, a tool that I've had, uh, gosh, I'm embarrassed to say just how long, but it, uh, it's basically, you know, 
like a pen, but it, it can hold, um, normally it was ink, but in this case, you just open it up a little bit more and it comes out perfectly well for these lines, especially these reflecting lines that I wanted on the water. So it does a great job. And this might be a look a, a little bit boring just to, to see them all. But I mean, this is the whole point of this video is to show you how easily it's, it's applied. And um, yeah, even I get a little bored looking at this. <laughs> but um, the point is to show you the different ways we can use the frisket. Uh, I'm painting over that yellow line. So after I put the other color as a contrast, you'll see um, the, the lighter value that is going to be revealed when I pick up the frisket. Now, you can apply uh, frisket with a brush like you saw me doing earlier um, with, um, with, with this tool or with really anything. Uh, um, it's just as, as precise of instrument as you can get to get the lines and the effect that you want. I think that's one of the philosophies I love in, in watercolor. Do whatever it takes to achieve the look that you need uh, and you're, that you're going for. So it doesn't matter if you have to, um, whatever, mm, uh, go from, you know, use ink, uh, uh, whatever effect, if you need to use grease, Sometimes we'll use, um, and I'll show it in another video where we do wax. We do put like, it's like almost like a crayon or, or a candle to, to give you a similar effect to this frisk where it's, it's, um, the only thing is it's not really removable. It's once it's down, it's kind of, you have to scrape it off, but this is easier, but I went off on a tangent. I am laying down the lighter values uh of uh of the water and right now some little details of the brick that was reflecting in the water and, and maybe some highlights here or there that's like the little walkway in the marina but i'm keeping in mind um that that blue that the frisket is covering is going to be white and it's almost kind of like a magic trick once you rub it off you'll see the, the, um, the final project, you know, come together. But at this stage, it's kind of like a little, a little messy and a little murky and you're like, what's, what's going on? But you gotta just trust the process. And if you see, I'm, I'm, I'm not really being true to the colors of the composition. It's, I'm going with the, the complementaries of uh, yellow and uh, purple. So in doing so, you create a nice little tension and it's get a color harmony that is very um, pleasant. They are especially pleasing to the eye because of uh, different types of photoreceptor cells which contribute to the color vision, the, per the perceived different types of light and color spectrum. Anyway, it's a lot of uh, scientific reasoning, but if you put two complementary colors together, they tend to be uh, stronger than the two colors by themselves. You also have to be careful um, or just know that if you mix the complementary colors, you're, they're going to cancel each other out, so they're going to neutralize. So it's a good way to get um, like a nice brown or a nice neutral color. Um, sometimes that's very useful in watercolor uh, if you're you're comfortable. Instead of using a, a you know, if you want to make it darker, uh, you just mix the complementary color, and you'll find that it's a much much richer um, color that you end up with. Now, what I'm doing here is uh, kind of using the small brush again, which not the not the best thing, but I'm I'm thinking about the idea of the little waves. And um, I, I really should be using the largest brush I can until the very, the very last uh, moment I can. Now, I noticed that the color of the water was not as dark as I needed. And that was because I was using the wrong type of paint. So I use 
uh, this uh, much deeper blue and it, it gave me that nice little contrast that I'm trying to illustrate with the frisket which you know when you'll see at the end uh, I, I rub it off oh there's the brand there's the, the tube and unfortunately you can't really read what it is um, I should come back and or put it at, at the bottom of what the what the actual brand and what the type of color it is and now comes the moment where we've all been waiting for which is um, rubbing the frisket off and I kind of I kind of jumped the gun here like I was uh, anxious to see uh, the results but I also did not finish the top of the of the painting but you can see what I'm rubbing uh, just with my finger um, you can see it coming off and revealing uh, the nice line that we drew and preserving you know the the design that I wanted to to reflect that's opposed to uh, like uh, any oil or gouache where you could paint on top uh, this is this is you're, you're preserving the color underneath so it's a nice little technique and I hope you guys are getting something out of this um, yeah you can see there with the higher contrast you can see the lines much better and in a few minutes actually a few seconds here I'm gonna oh I want to actually finish uh, the painting And honestly, I think these videos are, are this video is running too long, so I'm just going to cut it up here. Um, you guys get the idea. Uh, let me just jump to the final product so you can see what the uh, the final result is of all this um, this effort of masking off the certain areas. So here we go. And there it is. Look, this is a this is one of my favorite part of. Uh, Finishing a painting is revealing that nice, clean, crisp line. And you can see the dark value of the of the blue and how nice it contrasts with the, the light value of the, um, the reflection. So all in all, I was pleased with the results and hopefully you guys got an understanding on how to use Frisket and hopefully it inspires you to create your own work. Please share it here. Uh, send me comments, send me um, your work, uh, any questions. I look forward to it and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.